Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're going to go ahead and do an Avalon the game, also known as Avalon the droids, video where we're going to focus on the alpha characters. These are the characters that are available in early alpha, just to give you an idea of where you may want to start, where which ones you may want to try. All depends on the, your style of play. Um, we have everything from healers to mages to ranged weapons to slightly DPS uh, two-hand weapon style characters. First here we have the Viking Berserker, which is the first one we're going to jump into. Uh, he is a two-handed weapon, DPS style, uh, Berserker style character, uh, which we're going to take a look at. Um, again, he has two-handed weapons, uh, two small or medium-sized axes. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at some of his characteristics. All right, we are in here. We're going to focus on um, just the alpha, the base weapons that you start off with when starting out with the game. Um, he starts out with, if you hit Z, he'll get two-handed weapons. And we're going to swing those axes around, do some cool motions. But he also has the option to get a the axe and the shield, so you can also defend. And again, much more powerful but slower swing to it. He also has this cool thing where if you have a group where you're coming up to, a group of enemies, if you run up and you hit two, he'll jump and he'll bam, and it knocks them all away. What we're going to do is we're going to quick run over, show you the two-handed weapons, uh, and just fight a few monsters to show you what kind of uh, battle he has, um, or what kind of skills he has. Before we actually jump into the battling, uh, the same thing I'm going to do with all of these. I'll probably skip this with most of them, but just wanted to remind you. Come over to the fountain, click E before you get started. Uh, that'll give you a nice little health bo boost, especially for those non-tank characters uh, that, that need a little more help when they're attacking. Um, so we're going to run over to where we see some spiders and some wolves. Um, like I said, I'll skip over this in the future ones. Um, and then we'll go ahead and fight some, and I can show you some of their skills. We got some spiders up here, which we'll, we'll start out with. And I should have started with a berserker. There we go. Already leveled up. There you are. And there we go. That was that skill set. Let's go ahead and switch over to the slower axe and the shield. He's a very slash DPS, kill him super fast type of character. But now we got this. You see how that that bounced him away. This is a much stronger weapon, um, but much slower. It, it does have looks like it's radius attacking, so AOE, I guess you could call it. So it kills a number of different things at once. And if you click one when you have power, you can go ahead and kick. You got some other things, which is a taunt, um, which is interesting because he's. Let's go ahead and kill one more group, and then we'll switch to the next character. So if you like. You like this kind of style, uh, berserker style of a character. Um, definitely something that's worth checking out. And we'll, after we kill this guy, we'll go ahead and switch to another character. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the next one. Next character on the list is a healer. Um, she's a droid. She's actually going to be one of the more popular characters. Um, she's going to be changed quite a bit over the the next few months i know they're revamping her so this is just a temporary style for alpha uh again a healer not super strong um, so something to keep in mind when fighting with her uh, she does have a staff um, if you look she has a it looks like a lantern and a staff a droid staff um, she does mostly healing so i'm not going to do a ton of battling with her um, again let's take a look at her her stance this is the staff and then we go we have the lantern, which gives you a heal uh, and also protects you in caves. So let's go ahead and run over because I'm, I'm actually not going to fight with her uh, just because she's not super strong and I want to get through some of the other things. Right click is defend. Left click is a battle, kind of a, a shot. It's a ranged weapon. Um, and then we have the healing, uh, which is two... If you're close to her, go ahead and heal up. Uh, and then, I uh, did the wrong button. And this bubble, if you're in here, it goes ahead and heals also. So you can heal the entire group. Like I said, she's mostly healer. 
Um, going to be very popular because one of the things that she's going to have is, like I said, that, that lantern. If I switch over when you're in caves, uh, it keeps vampires away uh, if you're in this bubble, this light bubble that she has. So it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, it's, she's going to be one of the key people uh, for, for egg hunting, as they, they keep saying. So let's go ahead and jump to the next character. All right, the next on the list is the Elf Knight. Um, she is a, a very, she's arranged. She comes with both a two-handed sword and a, uh, a bow. Um, keep in mind when using the bows, I'm, I'm logging in the server now, that's why you see it frozen. Um, when with the bows, you have a finite amount of arrows. So keep that in mind. Um, let's go ahead and pull out, this is her two-handed sword. So it's pretty powerful. She is a knight, so keep that in mind. Uh, but she also has the option to switch it out and grab a bow. Um, and the bow is obviously for ranged weapons. Let's see what we have over here. So let's go ahead and just do a target practice, shoot this tree. If you just press the button quickly, it shoots fast. If you hold the arrow down, uh, you go ahead and it shows where the trajectory is and then let go and it shoots the arrow. Um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and sheath this run over to the fountain and we'll attack a few items so we can attack them from far shoot them uh, and then when they get close we can switch weapons and melee attack them so that's the neat thing about this uh, the elf knight is you have the ability to go ahead and do uh, both ranged and powerful close range and she has a heal too uh, that's the nice thing um, i'm a big fan of the self-healing uh, because i tend to run in and get myself in trouble so it's always nice to be able to heal yourself. Uh, she has a couple other features to her too. Um, we're gonna go ahead and run over here though. Okay, we are out here behind the, we are looking for some some wolves to attack. I wanna get, shoot them from long range and I think they just saw me. Oh, they did. So I'm gonna switch weapons and we're gonna attack melee and I'll show you the show you the ranged weapon on the next batch. I, I got just a little too close. That wolf does not want to come close to me. There we go. Boop. All right, let's go ahead and be a little more sneaky this time uh, for these wolves over here. Maybe I can range attack a few of them. Uh, I'm still learning. There we go. This one's probably going to be I keep going over top of them. All right, you are staying. There we go. And you got ranged, and they come in close, and you can slaughter them. I kind of like this character uh, because you have both, both types of weapons to fight with. All right, let's go ahead and jump to the next one. All right, the next quer char character. The next character is the uh, Inquisitor. He is the Dark Mage. Um, He's he seems to be one of the the more popular pre-launch characters um, because he can do a lot of necromancy stuff. Um, there's one of the things that he can do is he can bring the dead back to life, and you can actually have like skeletons that will fight with you. You obviously have to attack a few things, um, but here he is. He starts out is his two types of weapons he has is he has dual daggers that you can go ahead and use, um, and then he. Oops, he has this magic right here, which he can shoot if you right click. It kind of shoots a, it actually throws, I'm sorry, it throws a dagger, which is kind of neat, neat option. Um, and then if you switch weapons, he has a blade uh, right here, um, which is if you click on I, it's a special one, it's the Inquisitor blade. So it's not as strong as the other blades that we've seen. Uh, it's not even as, as strong as the knife, but it is a, a quick weapon that he has. Um, he has a few other things as far as his powers go. He has one of his dark magic is you can shoot distance. Uh, it's like a, a bolt of lightning almost and shoots down on top of people. It's a nice range. Um, so let's go. I'm going to quick run over to the fountain and then I'll quick run over to some of the wolves and show you some of his attacks. All right. We are here close to wolves again. Uh, I'm going to try and do, I'm not sure if I can get it. See how far the daggers throw. Oh, I actually got him. That's pretty cool. I didn't, wasn't expecting to. And we did that. And then we'll go ahead and attack. 
You can see he is not the strongest. He's actually, this is my first time actually fighting with him. <laughs> he's not the strongest one of all of them. Um, but he's got some cool skills to him, which which is neat. I went ahead and destroyed those. You see my, my health went down quite a bit. But I do want to show you the different uh, items that you can do. I actually don't have the necromancy uh, staff, so I can't show you that. That's the close range defense. Yeah, and this is, uh, if you have the necromancy staff, which is pretty cool, you can actually, again, raise the dead and get a bunch of uh, things to help you, uh, skeletons to help you. Uh, he's got some black magic. I'm sure he's going to have some cool things that go along with him. In addition to that, you can go ahead and fly the, the fire dragon with him. He's the only one that can fly the fire dragons. All right, let's jump to the next character. All right, we have two more characters left. This is the Viking Raider, uh, similar to the Berserker. Uh, I, I don't know a ton about him yet. I have a feeling he's going to be initially fighting style, similar to the Berserker. Um, but I know they have two styles of Vikings. They have the Water Viking, and then they have, uh, uh, what was the other one? The Horse Viking. So one of them does uh, well with horses, and the other one does well with, um, can fly the Water Dragon. So let's go ahead and show the two weapons. He's got uh, two dual axes, which are super cool uh, for, for DPS. And then you can switch them over to a bow uh, so you can shoot long range. Um, got that one there. And then he has uh, magic, which is a more of a taunt type of style. All right, so he has a very similar style. The, the range weapon, uh, I guess he's more of a DPS style than the Berserker is more of a tank style. Um, he can shoot long range, as you can see, and then you can switch him to the dual weapons. I'm not going to run him over because he's going to be very similar to some of the other fighting styles that we saw. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump over the last one. I'm not sure if he's the horse or the water Viking. Um, we'll find out more details, but it gives he's more of a DPS, like I said before, and the Berserker is more of a tank. So depending on what you want with that, if you want it, one that has dual weapons but also has the shield and sword, Go Berserker if you want the ranged weapon and the dual weapons, uh, go with this guy. And last but not least, we have this one. He is supposed to be styled after the Templar. Um, the Templar is not available yet. They're still going through the design phase for that, but he is the closest style to that. Uh, I showed him in the, the basic video that I put together, showing all the basics and how to get started in Avalon. Um, so he has a very Templar style. He has both the shield and sword. Um, as you can see here, the shield and sword is his base weapon. Uh, and then he has the, the stronger long sword, um, which is a lot slower, but also fights a lot better. He's got the self healing, which is nice. Um, and he, he's, if you like a tank style, but also can do some DPS um, and self healing, He's the character to go for. Uh, he mixes well with uh, the Elf Knight that I showed you before, who has the ranged weapon plus the powerful swing, which is Knight. Uh, uh, so if you like the range, I, I kind of like this guy. I don't think you can kill the chickens, but I'm going to try and kill this one. He's a lot slower. That's the only challenge with him. No, you can't kill chickens. <laughs> Um, he's a lot slower, uh, but he's also a whole lot more powerful. His health is probably the highest out of all of them. Once you buff him, he goes up to fifteen. He goes up to fifteen hundred. I have him level up to level three, uh, so it's slightly higher. Um, he has the self healing. He has the knockback, the taunt. Um, he's just a pretty cool um, character if if you like the tank style. So let's go ahead and jump back and just do a quick recap of all of them. All right, let's go ahead and, like I said, do a recap of all of these. Depending on the style that you like, let me know in the comments down below which character are you going to be trying out first. What style do you like? We have the Viking Berserker who has um, the, the shield and an axe, but also the dual weapon, so he's more of a tank Viking. Um, you have the droid who is straight-up healer, has some distance attacks, uh, but not super strong best for for groups also going to become very important when we get to the egg the dragon egg hunting in the caves we have the elf knight who has the ranged but also the tankiness to her with with the two-handed sword um, we have the inquisitor who's the dark magic 
not as strong as far as physical strong, but has a lot of great dark magic that can help you out. If you, you're a mage fan, this might be the character for you. The Viking Raider, who has both the range with the bow and arrow, but the two-handed weapons for damage. Uh, so if you like that style. And then last but not least, we have this one who's a Templar style, which is very tanky. Uh, has both the, the, the sword and the shield, one-handed sword and shield, but also has a two-handed sword for, for lots of damage, but is a lot slower, but has the self-healing, which helps out also, so very tanky. Uh, if you get yourself into trouble a lot, this might be the character for you. Again, let me know in the comments down below which character do you find the best. These are, again, alpha characters. They will change as we get closer to beta and beta, and then when we launch officially, you'll see a completely different set of characters. Uh, but this is the alpha set. I hope you all enjoy these videos. Thank you, and have a great day.